Hi everyone, General Fault from Haven here. Just uh, wanted to show you a walk to the uh, carbon. Um, I believe in other videos I've shown you um, how to get to that house up here on the cliff. See if you can see it up there and I've showed you where the wisp is too in that direction. You have to go around the mountains. But uh, now I want to show you carbon. Now these are, and actually just past where the carbon is, is also where ash is. So I'm going to head there now. Now you can go through the wolf cave. Uh, the wolf cave is over there. Um, but uh, instead of going through the wolf cave, you can actually go around the wolf cave. So up, up over this uh, little hill here is a pathway to uh, a deer field. Uh, there's a lot of deer up here. Very east. There's not a lot of um, dangerous things to worry about other than if somebody uh, shoots an arrow at a buck. Um, it will charge after the closest person, so just watch out for people trying to do stuff like that. Um, so there's one there. Um, see, some people have been kind of hunting them already. Um, I don't know my arrow's up. I'm not going to hunt anything. <clears throat> All right, excuse me. So we have, uh, once you see the water waterfall here, you can turn right. And over here, there's a bridge. Just go over this bridge. And um, there you go. This You can hunt them by the waterfall. So there's a waterfall to the side of the waterfall. You can get three or four uh, deer and a buck. Bucks, by the way, have the, uh, the horns on them here. So if you, as soon as you shoot them a couple times, they will chase you. They will attack. Uh, the deers will not. So as you can see, there's some. There's a deer over here. It's got no antlers, and they will not attack you. So, so down there is the tent. You can see the tent right there, and uh, you can heal up. If you happen to go down that way where where the wolves are, you can come back here and heal up just easily. Um, if you don't have to run, at least, um, if you have a strong enough weapon and armor, at least you don't have to run. You can just go up there, heal, and then walk back again. So that's that. And now, there's the Citadel. This is uh, the cave where the uh, the wolves are. So again, if you the side of the opening is here, and it basically comes down here and then out to the field. So we're just basically walking around this this cave, if you will. Now what a lot of people do, if you're solo and you don't have strong enough weapons and armor, they will wait on this ledge. This is the reason why I came up here and you can walk this way, but if you come up here it's safer. Why is that? Because in case there's a wolf here, he will run here, chase you and attack you. Um, here you can see, okay, the coast is clear before you jump down. That doesn't mean they can't get to you because they can come up around here and back here, but it gives you a chance to basically you know, run that way towards the tent if you want to get some healing. So just keep an eye on over things of over there and um, just watch for uh, any wolves. <coughs> and uh, if the coast is clear, now again, if you don't, if you're not strong enough, do not attempt this on your own. You will die. Um, there's at least a bunch of wolves and goblins down there. So. Um, best what a lot of people do is the the best thing to do is to wait here until you see a group of people coming this way or this way if you see three four or five people coming this way they're probably heading towards the coal jump down join in um, just hold back let them go ahead of you and not too far because you don't want wolves spawning behind you and, and attacking you but try to stay nearby them anyways um, if you're not powerful enough and um, as they are as they pull the wolves to themselves, of course, join in. Now, this is what you do not want to do. Do not walk up to a wolf, right? Um, if you're close enough and he sees you, fine. I try to get his attention. Oh, a little higher. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it doesn't look like he liked that too much. Oh, got it. Switch quickly. Do not switch last minute. Because if you switch last minute, it's not going to be that <laughs> They'll get to you before you can get to them, so... Before you can uh, attack them, I mean, from switching your weapon. As you can see how much time you have, just keep that in mind. So here's the arrow, you shoot them. Now watch how much time you have, right? You push the button, 
and there you go it's like two or three seconds right so you make sure they're as they're coming to you you have at least a two or three second head start right um let's see if there's another wolf here i saw another one somewhere they he tends to walk up between these rocks here so i would suggest to come down the side here and there he is oh he saw me first i guess if i can get him anyway no they will attack you if they see you and I think the other one saw me too, I'm not certain, yes he did, but because I have a Voltaic Sword, uh, I can kill a Voltaic Sword so that is fine. There you go, so they're down. Might as well take the loot, why not? It's a waste otherwise. So, there you have, no, I think there might be another one here, this is, was killed already. Um, I know there's, I think there's one over here somewhere. Now, over there, but I can't really see it, it's kind of tricky. But you here you can see a couple goblins, and there are goblins over here, over this hill. You can't see it, but it's kind of, yeah, it can really get you if you're not careful. Now see this rock over there? There's ash behind that. So you go behind that, and right behind that is a small ash tree. Um, there's a yew tree here, and I think there's a yew tree right here. So these are yew trees, and uh, behind this rock is an ash tree. That's where you get your ash. Um, now the closest coal, uh, spot to harvest from is here behind this rock by this waterfall. I heard that he spotted me. Now, there's not a lot of time to switch weapons, so I would have shot an arrow if he's further away. Let's get this guy down. He doesn't seem to take as many hits with uh, during the day. Anyway, so that's it. Coal. So you just harvest coal, right? You just keep going as much as you need. Now, while you're doing this, there's creatures like goblins and I think a wolf too spawns here somewhere. And these other wolves here will spawn too. So while you're doing this, you may be just fending them off. Let's see how many I can get before more of them spawn. I won't do this forever, but I'll just see. I, I don't really need it, but... Now, you can hear for the pitter-patter of steps and other things. Um, here. Sorry guys, somebody is texting me here. Let me just type to this guy. Somebody wanted an escort uh, to the coal, but he didn't respond, so I came here anyway. But I'm going to tell him I'm there already. Feel free to join. There we go. And uh, let me go take you to the ash tree. Um, I'm going to show you over the hill. There's the fire. See, it's hidden. See, that's, a, <laughs> that's sly right there. It's tricky. You can't even see it. But there will be goblins here. It looks like somebody came through and killed them already. That's fine. And I'm going to show you where the ash tree is. All over this place, you'll find coal. Uh, coal. Oh, there we go. Hello, Doug. Who wants to play? All right, let's go. I win. <laughs> All right. So, behind this tree, this is the ash tree. Right? So, you just walk. There you go. Just behind this rock. Now, there are wolves all over this place. See, like, can you take on three wolves? Right? Make sure you use... If you get ganged up on, uh, just use your more powerful attacks. But just remember that they do take stamina. You see the bottom left there, right? It will take stamina doing that. Just a little bit of stamina. You can see my stamina going down as I do this, right? There it goes, just a little bit. So you will lose stamina doing this. Um, if you use your most powerful attack on, the, on your weapon, that is. Uh, so you probably have a champion sword in order to even come down here. Now I have uh, full of brigandine armor, so... Um, that really, really does help to make it down to this ash tree. Um, but um, I believe you might need it for the... Don't get me... I don't know if you need it for Brigandine or not, but um, I have to go back and check. It. But you will need it for certain weapons, for sure. So definitely you're going to need to have... Full, oh, there's a brute. That's. I do not want to stick around where there's a brute. Yeah, see, I'm not, I'm not going to fight that guy.
That brute is deadly. Somebody is probably trying to drag him towards me. Because, frankly, they want to uh, probably kill me. <laughs> Some people are just assholes, man. They just want to uh, screw you up. So I'm not sticking around. This is why I keep enough on me. Now, I can take him down at the tent, I believe. So let's go ahead and try that. That guy is certainly not sticking around. <laughs> I'm going to try to make it to this tent if I can. And I'm going to heal up. And if the brute does come here, I should be able to take him down with, uh, with my sword. Well, let me heal up here first. So it seems other creatures don't always seem to come here. It always seems like one wolf stays on you while the other ones give up or maybe they find other people. I don't know. But every time I run here, I find there's only like one wolf that bothers to come here. Now, fortunately, like I think those are the other wolves. See, the, see those two guys there? Mm -hmm. If you do not engage, they will walk back. So I, it seems um, I think it's based on if they see you or not because they were chasing me. It could be that they were chasing the one wolf that was running. I'm trying to figure out this AI, but I think those two were chasing. One starts to run, and these two were chasing the running one. And then when I disappear, uh, and I killed, I killed the uh, the one that was running, and then these guys just broke off. So it doesn't seem like they had their target set to me. If they do not have a target, this is what I know for sure, the AI will give up and go back. So it doesn't seem like they had me as a target, or they lost sight of me perhaps at some point. So one trick again, what I usually do is I run behind this thing. But it always seems but at least that one wolf that spotted me will run here. Um, there's no longer a brute uh, there. But anyways, uh, I'm going to end the video right now. And uh, that was eventful. 